Hi there, everyone. Hi. Hi there, everyone. Nathan and uh, Emma here from Mighty Lancer Games. And we're going to hydrate. Thanks, Pete. Oh, are we? Straight, yeah. straight off the bat, eh? I was getting you ready. That's what it is. Ha! There we go. <coughs> Super. So, uh, welcome to this evening's stream. I am catching up on getting some of the uh, bits of Bellacore painted. Just priming up these chains, ready to stick on to the wings. Oh, chains and skulls and other bits and pieces. We won, so we've got a happy wife. Is that? Have we won? Is the game over already? No idea. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Live to fight another day. Wowzers. <laughs> Is that. Uh, we've beat. 2 0, really? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Did they deserve to win? More. Uh, no yeah, they got their act together. Is it like an underdog story? Yeah, they make a film out of it. So when you were telling me what you were doing, I interrupted oh, you. So, no, no, that's uh, you're more important, my darling. So I am just painting uh, these chains and skulls and other accoutrements that are going to be on Bellacore's wings. And uh, just getting them undercoated in preparation for sticking on because I've got absolutely zero chance of painting the uh, back side of them once I've got them stuck in place. So we're just going to get these bits done. What are you up to, my darling? Well, I was going to attempt to use some contrast paint um, on this red. So I was just going to see what it looked like. Cool. I've already painted it red, but. I didn't like it as uh, it's, it's very flat, but I hadn't actually done anything with it. I hadn't put a wash or um, hadn't put a wash or any highlights or anything. But I just wanted to see what the contrast paint would do. So we've got some creases for it to settle in with it being red. Yeah, and how's it looking? Or have you not done it yet? I literally just put a bit of paint on. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see. Excellent, eh? It's also quite, quite dark in here today because uh, I've been used to it being sunny outside, but it's quite dull and overcast. It's a lot darker than it normally is. Yeah. I'm going bl to blame, blame that for my failings. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Just, just, you know, so we're all pre-warned. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Awesome. What's uh, what's all everybody else up to today? Have you had good days? Hopefully you always oh, say that to you anyway, don't we? But we hope you've all had a good day today. We've uh, I've been busy at work. Have you been doing sub boxes, haven't you? Been uh, yeah, getting sub boxes ready. They will be getting posted out in the morning. And then on to the exciting tax challenge. So we have some things. So we've changed uh, on Mr. MLG's request. I've changed one of the demands uh, in the last reward section. So to ask a question, you can ask uh, him a question, and he says that he will answer. So you know, and I'll leave that up to you. Very friendly though, please. Yeah. Um, nothing, nothing overly personal. I reserve the right to not answer questions. If so yeah, I'm putting that in. So Wicked D says, let's start with the first. Quick question. The D&D minis primed with Vallejo, do they need scrubbing first or would that scrub off the primer? You should be able to uh, paint straight onto them with your D, but I like to undercoat them again myself because quite often you need to uh, tidy up a couple of mould lines or whatever on the models anyway, which obviously if you did that, you'd maybe scrape off a bit of the primer. So I would always recommend just making sure they're all cleaned up as you want them and then giving it a uh, little coat of brush on primer of your choice or spray primer of your choice over the top just to make sure you've got a nice consistent undercoat. But they are designed to just be painted straight out of the box aren't they? The, they are. That is, that is what they're designed for. But you will find that if you look at them sometimes you think that's a nasty mould line that I've now got to get rid of. And then you'll have 
no primer on that bit after you've scraped the mold around. Yeah. Hope that helped. Uh, Pete says, says Mr. Mr. MLG, could you get Mrs. MLG to paint my moss beard because I've never painted a metal mini before? Now, I'm not going to paint his moss beard because mm. he's got it so that he can do it and it'll be lots of fun for him. But can you please help with the difference between plastic resin and metal, which we have done a YouTube video on, just, you know, for future reference. Mm. So, uh, what question am I answering? How do you deal with uh, well, metal yeah, minis? I think the problem that Pete is having is it's a big hunk of metal in a box and it looks a little bit yeah. scary. Okay, so uh, assembly wise, Pete, just you know, treat it as a, a resin or a plastic mini. You need to make sure all the pieces line up and uh, it joins together nicely and get it glued together with some decent super glue uh, and then undercoat it give it a really good uh, undercoat of a uh, suitable primer such as uh, the reaper brush on primers give a nice all over undercoat not too thick but uh, similarly not too thin if you can see any of the color of the bare metal underneath or through the primer then it needs a little bit more on and then uh, carry on painting as normal once you've got that solid base to work from I guess is the uh, the thing it also possibly wouldn't hurt before you start assembly and you've uh, you've cleaned all your bits your mold lines and all the rest of the thing off and made sure the mounting surfaces the joint surfaces are clean would be just make sure you do give it a little wash just in case there is any mold release agent on the metal because that will stop the primer adhering properly excellent <laughs> you just excellent to yourself for answering a question no it was more uh, excellent to myself that that piece was finished ah, so this is building a blood knight pastel line All right, I've, uh, I'll be honest, I don't know what one of those is. And Admiral has redeemed, asked the question and says, how many, how many tattoos do you both have? Ooh. One, I'll let you go first on that one. Uh, technically one, because it covers my whole arm. Oh, that's <laughs> an <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, so six, seven, eight. No. Oh, I've, I've only got about ten. What, what are they? Uh, let me just put that down. I'm going to have to look at them now, so I'll tell you. Uh, burning Castle, Knight, Bats, Skull. Oh, no, there's another one there. Skull. Uh, burning Castle, Knight, Bats, Skull. Skull on my elbow. Dragon. Other Skull, six. Uh, bone devil seven, another skull eight. I don't know, maybe it is only nine. Uh, angel nine, nine, maybe, yeah, possibly nine. So, Mr. MLG had no tattoos at all when he met me, but I already had tattoos when I met him and led me astray. No, I told him he wasn't allowed any. Uh, because he was absolutely perfect just the way he was but if he really wanted a, a sleeve mm. it's all gone downhill I already had them you know even though I said no we're there you know, you've you already got them so you can't have any so you went and got them didn't you it's all downhill from there all downhill from there yeah so I have more <laughs> <laughs> don't know how many I've got so I have that one my, they're all really old. We haven't had one for years, have we? No. And then I have my voodoo woman who is chasing her little voodoo dolls. Um, and she has a big skirt on. And I have this one that doesn't match in but kind of touches it. I've got a uh, dragon on my shoulder and one on my hip. I've got cherries. Uh, I've got viney things that go all the way down the back and uh, I've got one on the foot how many is that? don't know one you might you might have more technically one two three four five six seven eight 
hatedly like yeah. mush them all together. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's not a lot. No, we haven't got that many. They're, they're, they're quite easy to cover up. If we wear long sleeves, then you can't tell we've got any. No. I think that's the... Yeah, mine, mine came a little bit further down my wrist than I wanted it to. I really wanted it to finish about here. But uh, I think the tattooist got a little bit carried away. So it went down there. So it just used to poke out the end of my shirt sleeve. when uh, when I, Not that it was a problem. You anyway, your proper job. when I had my proper job. But, um, yeah, it's been a long time. And I forget I've got mine sometimes. And they make me jump. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah. Mm. That's, that's my tattoo. <laughs> but that's just how daft I am, I think. So there you go, I hope that answered. Uh, hope that answers your question. Oh, the, and, a, and a random random fun fact, I suppose. I had my one on my foot done very, 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 very long time ago. And it's writing and it says, Dark Angel. And when I went and met my friend who was waiting for me in the pub, and I showed him and I said, what do you think? And he went, why have you got Dark Angel written on your foot? I was like, no, it says Dark. Thank you very much. <coughs> but I'm mistaken. That was because we'd had some beer. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, don't know. Have you? Can you reach the super glue? Mm. Oh no, sorry. I've got. There's plenty in here. It's just it needs. Tipping. It says you should do a TikTok tat sh tat show and tell. Wow, <laughs> that's that's a tongue mm. twister. I've yeah. cut the top of my mouth on something as well, so that, that didn't help. Uh, you should have got rid of say my name because you say our name, um, you say your name all the time, Pete. <laughs> it's because you're always hydrating us, so all we have to time. we have to name check you. Yeah. So what are you on with them now? Uh, well, I'm just going to wait for these bits to dry, and then I'm going to uh, stick them on. Well, actually, I'm not going to stick them on. I'm going to we'll wait for them to dry, and then. Then... Uh, I'm going to paint a metal colour. Excuse me. Uh, so, I've done it again. I've left the paint that I need in the cupboard. Could you pass me the uh, gun metal -y metal colour? Oh, I suppose so. You can, you can what, hydrate. What I'd really like is the Dark Star Old Silver, I think it is. Go. Wonderful. Thank you. What's that? Silly, silly voice uh, with... Uh... He didn't like that one. Ah, yeah. No, it's, it's because I uh, struggled to... Uh, we'll, we'll, we will put it back on, but I, when I've formulated a little list... He's being grumpy. ...of uh, what to put on it. Because I was struggling to think of silly voices to talk to do. And I don't want to shortchange you, you see. I want to bring you quality entertainment. And... Uh, and he did some inspiration for silly voices. So we replaced it. Add a super hydrate. What 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 would that involve? <laughs> You've got to chug all of your drink. <laughs> no, because sometimes you have uh, beer. Yeah, or wine. You neck it. Ah. ah! Didn't, didn't, oh, we can see your face now. Hello, everyone. That's our ceiling. Yeah, yeah that's, that's your hands. Mm. Our ceiling. <laughs> There's a nice tour around the house. Yeah, there. yeah. sorry about that. The, uh, see the, right up your nose. Yeah, the blue tap failed. Yeah, oh. we're really technical. Really technical here. Our cameras are held up with blue tack. I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's a good start, isn't it? How, how technical do we have to be? Blue tack. Yep. There we go. All these pro streamers. They all use blue yeah. tack. Hash, hashtag pro streamer. That's what you want. That's what you like. I remember that you didn't even think you just stared at it so you filmed up your nose. Yeah, everybody wanted to see it, didn't they? I'm sure everybody really wanted to see <laughs> up your nose. Oh, my, uh, my Twitch has just welcomed me to the chat room like I haven't been there the whole time. So, mm. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Twitch. I hope that doesn't mean it's having some kind of silly little fit about itself. Silly thing. I don't know which... Uh, I don't know. What, looking at this now, I'm painting this 
thing like metal well, we color edit. We can't see what you're doing now. We can see. Why? No, we can see oh. super glue and. Uh, yeah, sorry. I. Uh, <laughs> my. Kitty says you need a tissue for up your nose. Oh, nice. Thank oh, you. You, you, you'll, you'll get a complex now. Yeah. Have you got my. Um, Agrax? Because it's not here anymore. And it was. Is that in the camera? It is sorted. That's the sorted see Superman. Mm. Another little tour around the house. Yeah, there so, we go. So have we all seen uh, seen the latest addition to the MLG family then? Have we all have we all seen George? He had a little uh, little adventure on TikTok and you can see it on YouTube and various other places too, in case you don't have TikTok. Uh, a little adventure. He was very happy. Very happy that we'd taken him out for the day. Yeah, we've got a nice, uh, nice tour around the local beauty spot. Yep. And then we had his little ice cream at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you need him on a mount with spear and shield. Don't stand. Don't stand. No, I don't know. Uh, he has his um, he has his sword. Doesn't he? Yeah, I think it, he's really cool. He's currently looking out of the window. Ready to uh, scare the postman. Staring out the window, waiting for his next adventure. Yeah, ah, it thought... says you should have the George should have like the MLG logo. Ah, right. Well, he's not a knight, so I don't know. Let's see. So apparently, I see what you mean. I have to paint these bugbears. Uh, ready for Pathfinder. Yep. Oh. We need bugbears and goblins. <laughs> Tim says, I'm surprised this needy reporter didn't snap a photo of you and George for the local Brud paper. We were quite quiet. Well, we went to uh, went to the, to the den sites. It was quite quiet. We originally were going to Benton Cliffs and it was absolutely heaving. It wasn't a weekend. It was absolutely and we couldn't understand why. So we thought a nice little walk along the cliff top, it would be nice and quiet. But it wasn't. There was even a bloke um, operating the car park telling you where to go. And then we, we found out today, through the local paper, that there is a rare bird visiting and it just happened to be where we wanted to go. <laughs> so that's why. We did think something must be happening because there was far too many people just for a daily walk. Yeah. Rare albatross sightings. Okay. <clears throat> I knew you would remember. I mean, George might have liked that, but we would have got a lot more stairs. And yeah. Probably, yeah. Uh, we probably asked to leave because we were scaring the local wildlife. Snorting to yourself. Uh, it would have been, would have, well, it would have been funny, wouldn't it? No, would you mind please leaving? You're scaring the uh, the oh, okay. bird watchers. These creatures are getting dangerous. Yeah. If you've come all this way to see a rare bird, I don't suppose having George rock up would be a good idea. They might have liked it. Well, they might have liked it, but probably not. So we we decided to go somewhere else. We did. And oh. also, I've not left, left the house for a thousand years. I don't want to be running into people and bumping into people. No. I'm glad we uh, did go somewhere else, actually, because it was a lot quieter, wasn't it? A lot nicer. It was. It was very nice walking through the woods hmm. with George. Up and down all the steps and yeah, was fascinating. climbing the hill. What else? 
else have we got? Tiny yeah. little bit. Got this tiny little bit here. So what? What are you actually doing? What's, what's, right, what's so, your plan? Right. So there's all these like chainy bits. Mm. I don't know if anybody can remember Bella for it's been that long since you did it. Yeah, there's all these chains and skulls and things that had to go on his wings and I left them off while I painted his wings because I knew that I would never get into the gaps. Once I've finished this bit, well I've got this bit and one more bit and I'll show show him off. But these sections go into onto his wings and I knew that I would have no chance whatsoever of painting either behind these or painting these in general once I'd stuck them on his wings. So uh, I decided to paint his wings and then paint these separately as I am doing and then I'm going to glue them in place carefully once I've done so. Sounds like a plan. So just not going to go crazy with them because I can highlight the front edges that you're going to see once they are stuck in place but we're just going to get them this metal colour and then we're going to wash them with a bit of uh, null oil so the back side is done and in shadow and then we'll put them on and then we'll dry brush any uh, or highlight any other bits that need doing oh there's these skulls as well so I really need to base coat the skulls or uh, glue them in place if I can just because I'm so clumsy that I don't want to get loads of run the risk of getting loads of paint on the wings that I've painted already. So we'll get that get that done. Oh look, my fingers are all shiny. Oh, oh. oh no! It's actually water. I've just I've just washed the <laughs> Glass of water. I just washed my paintbrush and my drinking don't, water. Don't drink that. I'm not going to. I'm, gonna go, I'm just going to go. Just going to go rinse my glass out, everybody. Just uh, stay with me. Oh, what a nump. Uh, did you hear all hear the the chinky of chinky noise of glass as he washed his paintbrush in it? What's he like? And normal person would have not had it near the paint pot. I, I will I will hydrate wickedly. I have water that isn't paint. See, look, water. Isn't paint water. Mine is mine's miles away, see. And now do you think he's gonna come back with a cheeky beer instead? Or do you think he's going to be good and come back with water? These teeth on this bugbear are very small. What have you, what have you got there then? Yeah. Let's see. We do. You make it, you're making some noises over there. Oh, sorry. Sorry, everyone. You're all sorted now. Yep, sorted. I'm going to paint this. Uh, Gonna use some tusk ivory to uh, base coat the skulls because that's what I've got on the table. I've got skeleton something or other, skeleton bone if you prefer that. Hmm? Oh, this will be alright. Oh, okay, just telling you. Okay. Have you uh, have you tried out your new paintbrush yet? No, no, I'll do it now. That's right. I don't understand why you're giving it. Because you said your other one was getting a bit hooked, so I thought I'd give you a new one. What did you do? You're giving me this one. Where is it? Green stuff world. Standard detail. That's uh, that's what I'm using here. Give me that one. But I haven't used it yet. It's still just over here. And I'm still I'm still using this guy. My lovely little it's getting a bit a bit worse for wear. But he's doing alright. Doing all right. Question for chat: What is best background for doing photos? Oh, while while chat answers you, I will show you what we use. We use a piece of cardboard that I sponge painted on dark colours. 
because I find that dark colours with a slight light, so there's not black, work better for my photos, but this is all personal opinion. It's also, as you can see, uh, unfortunately got some of Little Miss's glitter all over it, which doesn't help at all. But just a piece of regular card probably came in something that I sponge painted various colours on and I have two and I stand one at the back and I stand the miniature on one and then I use my desk lamp which is this thing just a normal normal bendy desk lamp like the Pixar lamp and I use that to light it up and I put the lamp I use my fern like that and then I put the lamp at the top so the light is shining over the top of my telephone and I get as low as I can to the miniature so it's level with the miniature so I raise the, the board up slightly so I get as low as I can put the light at the top behind the camera and I take my pictures like that but that's just me what about everybody else oh and that's how we do misters because I have to take his as well because you're a better <laughs> photographer than I am just my fur Nothing, uh, nothing over exciting. Just telephones and a desk lamp. But you can probably tell that from the quality of the pictures. Uh, Tony says, "I tend to not bother. I'm rubbish." <laughs> <laughs> Wiki D says, "Don't ask me. I'm still trying to perfect it." Oh bless. Well, I answered you at least, Pete. We have tried using a little light box we've got we a, we've got a light box i uh, didn't like it no it's uh it, i didn't like it for a couple of reasons one when we got it the things that we were trying to take pictures of were far too large to go in it so like a dragon's wings wouldn't fit it has like a um a, a bit that's more that, like, like that and curved so you don't get a line where you've got two pieces of paper stuck together it's got a, a curve but then down the sides there was nothing so when you took your picture you got a nice smooth background and bottom but then you had big holes there so it was pointless um the led strip kept falling off and it's held on with a clothes peg mm. and my bits of cardboard fit in the drawer next to my painting station whereas the light box is stuffed on top of a cupboard somewhere because it doesn't fit in a drawer <laughs> but they are the light boxes are really good but for for my purposes i didn't like them and tony says i have a light box but the lighting is too harsh and yes that's another that's another point i mean ours was really cheap it was like a plastic thing and it had a strip led along the top but yeah it, it cast more shadows than anything else so i don't know if any of that has actually helped you at all there pete but that's that's what we do that's what we do for our pictures. That's not got a skull on. That's got skulls on. So, what do we reckon to your bugbear? I think it looks great, sweetie. If if anything, mm. on the on the screen, I don't know what it looks like in real life because you can't see him on the mic. But it looks like his armour is very, very bright. It's not. It, it's this it's my desk light. Is that a bit better? I've changed it. I've changed the position. Yes, yes. Because I've moved my light, haven't yeah. I, to waffle Much, on. much better. Um, but that's that's what he looks like. Ah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't bother Wicked D. Wicked D says she was thinking about getting a cheapy light box off Amazon. I wouldn't bother. You can have a look at ours. Um, I'll show you, and then you can make a, a decision based on actually being able to poke at it. Yeah. Uh, we'll le we'll lend redeemed. you it. Yeah, yeah, we can lend it you. Um, has redeemed hydrate. Hydrate. I have, I, I just have. I hydrate. have a massive glass, uh, but it is only got water in it. Whereas the boy's got beer. I think yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You can borrow it if you want. See what you reckon. It's on top of the cupboard. You have to remind me. It definitely hasn't been out in an infected area for COVID because it's been on top of a cupboard for four years. <laughs> Almost touched it. 
So I don't know if you call this guy done apart from his face. What do we all think to this bugbear? He looks good to me, darling. Look all right. Mm. Suppose he's only just going to attack us in our Pathfinder game, so I can't make him look too fierce. Uh, Kelly says, I do know a little bit about mini photography, but getting the lighting set up right is a real faff, as I don't have a permanent... You see, that's, that's our problem as well, not having a permanent photo area. If we had a permanent photo area, then we'd have proper lights set up all the time, etc. Uh, but yeah, we don't either. So that's why it just gets done at the desk I'm sitting at now with two bits of cardboard. Peter's a game fighter. But the D says you. you should replace your water with a rum and coke. I could actually. We've actually got both of those things. That would be yeah. That would be quite tasty, wouldn't it? It's not very hydrating, though, is it? I'm spinning this guy around, kind of trying to consider what I think. I don't know if I like the axe. What do we think? It looks a bit like he's never killed anything with it, doesn't it? Maybe we should oh, put some... Put a bit of blood splatter on it. Oh, because well, this is going to be used, as you have said, when you said that this was for the Pathfinder games. And the girl, little miss, and everybody plays that. We don't have too much gore, do we? Uh, Pete is currently constructing one, which I assume he means a permanent photo area with special lighting. But if you can get a curved backdrop so it comes down and curves along the bottom so you don't get a line, that would be best for your photos. Uh, also, have you noticed that I have missing a nail varnish? I suppose because these nails, I must use those ones most. <laughs> you know, just in case you wondered. Um, well, you've got the, you've got the darkest seal colour, haven't you? Go on, sit. Can I have it back? Yes, I'll have it back. Uh, Thank you very much. This is the reason I'm coming to the shop on Thursday to paint, because the glue needs to set. Are you coming to paint, Harry? I know nothing. Super. What, uh... We'll, uh, we'll try and come and chip in with some useful suggestions, Pete. He might not want any useful suggestions. He might want to be left alone to paint. He might be like, go away, I know exactly what I'm doing. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe what? Where have I got that bit from there? I've, I've laid these pieces out on the instructions, so I uh, know where they go once I've got them Paint, like painted to a basic standard so they're ready to stick on. Yeah, any exciting news from the shop? Uh, no, not really. We've, uh, Are you all, all ready for Dominion's sending them out whenever they're ready? Yeah, we're, we're going to start uh, getting them labelled up and what have you over the next day, I think. Let's start getting some of those done and uh, ready to go. I've warned the postman that we'll need additional space in the van. So Pete yeah, says, should be all right. Pete says we're going to try a game of 40k but I need the new codex first. And yes, you can help my eldest paint her orcs. <laughs> <laughs> there will be people around. People around if, if, if assistance is required. Yeah, I'm sure we can uh, help you. So what other exciting things do we get to play? Come on, Mr. Lou, we've been out all day. <laughs> I've, uh, I've made all the sub boxes. Yeah, you said. With, uh, with the help of one of the staff. Um, what else? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a really busy day, but I'm like, I don't know. We've carried you know, a few hundred boxes of uh, things up the stairs. Yeah. When can we pick them up? Pick what up, Pete? Pop 
probably Dominion, if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, Dominion. Saturday. Saturday for Dominion is the, uh, is the release day. Oh, sub boxes. Oh. Sorry, Pete. Sub, sub boxes. Sub boxes. Uh, be ready tomorrow. Yeah, can't they're, be ready now because there's no one there. Yeah, they're all made. So if you wanted to come and collect it, you can come and collect it tomorrow. I don't know if that act looks any different at all. It looks different in real life. <laughs> I need more minis, said Wicked D. I'm running out of inspiration for painting. Well, that's a good job that the sub box is ready then. Yep. And we've all got, uh, our thinking caps on for Reaper Challenge League. And obviously don't forget that there will be a, another Goblin Inspiration when Hamish tells us what the theme is for July. Oh, yeah. And in July we will have Faribol and Friends where everybody is painting a... Spirit of the Forest. Spirit of the Forest, I knew you knew. Um, and that's, that's always fun, Spirit of the Forest. And also we'll be able to use that for the RCL. So double whammy. Should be good. So yeah, very well. And friends is quite cool because everybody paints the same mini, which is the forest this time because there was the voting, etc. And um, everybody paints the same miniature, uh, and you get to see everyone's different take on painting the same mini. And we use very well and friends too, I believe, on Twitter, um, to tag your mini in and see everybody else's, and also we'll you know on our Discord so we can all see each other's. Um, and it's just another bit of fun, and because it's a Reaper Mini, you'll be able to use it for the RCL. But we, we don't know whether Reaper may have it as a pop-up challenge for the yeah, well, we got to R it, yeah. RCL. Well, no, just I was pre-warning anyone in case they wanted to submit it for one of the different categories. But it, it, could, it could be useful for a number of categories, really. Yeah. But More the, so so yeah so that'll be fun so uh spirit of the forest for fairy Roll and friends and then we don't know obviously what hamish's next um theme will be because it's still june and he's not done his video yet he isn't streaming tonight we normally raid hamish but uh he's not streaming tonight so it's just us so you know i thought we were nervous slightly knowing this yeah more than likely uh tony says I'm working out what I want to do next, hobby-wise. Try, tried on the Witch Hunter from Cursed City, but it was leaving me feeling a bit flat. So I put him down for now and working out what project will get me all inspired. Why don't you join in some of the uh, painting challenges like the RCL or, or Feral and Friends or Goblin Inspiration? You could paint a, uh, Paint an MLG mascot. Ta da! <laughs> it happens to be sitting there staring at me. And obviously, Pete has his pig killing troll. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what kind of base would you like on the stub there, my darling? Uh, I think he sh I think he should have forest ground base. Mm, go on, bit, bit more so, info on that one. So, then. like modern foliage. Is there a specific, particular thing you want me to use? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's here in front of me. If you just wait a second oh, while well, I finish this. Wait a second, that is far enough to notice that I've blobbed. Ooh. What was that? Ooh. Thank you, Dad and Lad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Got a uh, thumbs up from Mister there. Awesome. How uh, how about some of the Conflict Forty Seven minis, Tony? Your tank looks absolutely fantastic. Are you going to uh, do some of the other minis that came in the box? Hi, crazy fish. Uh, so I might do a bit more on my frost. Mega Gargant. Hi Moxie! Oh that's 
then that's what I wanted us to do, wasn't it? I wanted us to put that ice phoenix together for me. Oh, yeah. We've got our own way to uh, TT Combat. TT Combat Ice Phoenix, and it looks absolutely beautiful. It looks really, really hard, and I'm a bit scared uh, to paint it. But um, Mrs. is going to put it together for me and clean it up because it's covered in bits. Hi, Devon Lives 40k. Uh, Hi. It's great to see you. I don't know how long you've, you've been with us. We are currently painting Bugbear by Reaper. And Mr. MLG at the other side is still on with his belly car because I told him that he really needs to finish it. So he's got really, really far and it's just the final bits he needs to do. So what are you doing with your skulls? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm painting the chains and bits and pieces to go on the wings. Well, it's great to have you with us. What Are you doing any projects at the moment, Dan Lad? Are you doing anything hobby related that you want to tell us about? And then he's going to pass me this stuff that he wants me to do on the bed so that I can do the bed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot again. I've got short term memory loss, I keep telling you. Yeah, you're, just, you're just very busy, that's what that is. You're very busy. So, on this guy, what did I use? I used that, I used that paint that you told me to use. It's not leather brown, what paint is it? Russet brown. Was it manky russet brown? There you go. Some of that, darling. If you just what like, brown it was. That's not going to be very good, is it? When I need to do the rest of them. If you if you put that on and make it like nice and thin on the base. Is that a square? No, it's in the cupboard. <coughs> Excuse me. That one up there. Sorry. Why oh, haven't done that? Why oh, haven't I done that one? Painted all these other bits and missed this one completely. It's on, yeah, it's a little top shelf thing, sweetheart. In the, in the box next to where you have this, yeah, there. I was looking, I was looking for a swimming around the box. Dad and the lad says he's finding it hard to make out Mrs. MLG. Do you mean, do you mean sound wise? Oh, just because I put him down. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know what that was. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Tony says that he's got the walker built from. Oh, oh what Moxie. was that? Thank you, Moxie. Thank oh, you, Moxie. That's, that's really, very nice. really kind of brain slug. That must be for you, you brain slug. Oh, nice. <laughs> was it that you can't hear me, Dad and Lad, or that my thing was all blurry? Tony said he does have the Walker from um, K47 built that's in the pipeline. Is that what you were yes. reading out? Yes. Cool. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been eyeing up some Falcon Falcon Jaeger drop troops, but I can't. I'm trying to restrain myself until I get some of these other projects finished off before I end up with some of those. They look. I love the uh, Captain America First Avenger movie. I'm a big Captain America fan, and uh, Steve Rogers Captain America. And I think they look very much like the. Uh, original Hydra guys, you that doesn't look pretty. My uh, my there. thing, my mud, ah. my mud. Yeah, I think they uh, they look really cool. So I fancy what I fancy painting some of them at some point. Uh, but I need to get some other projects finished before I can do. commit to. Uh, you do treating myself to any new minis maybe for your birthday because yeah. that's you know quite far away so it might give you a chance yeah to try and actually get something done for once <laughs> or, or christmas well, got, yeah we'll get some of this other stuff cleared off the workbench here we've got some uh, yeah what have you got over there got some other stuff to do so we've got some uh, i've got a bust to do need to get that done i've been Threatening that for a while. What bust uh, is it? It's uh, it's the Cromley orc, Spellcrow orc. Spellcrow. This this guy. There, that, that chap. Oh yeah. I've got him to paint. 
So I'm going to work, I'm gonna work on him at some point. What else? Uh, I've got some crates. Uh, I've got a giant ape over there. I've got some titans for Adeptus Titanicus. This is really hard to put on when I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I keep it in the camera. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got I've got a couple of dragons on the go. I've got a manticore. I've got a chimera. I've got an oni. You've got, got quite a lot of stuff. Though, I've got all the dominion stuff. I've got this uh, awesome giant beetle that I'm going to paint for the RCL. Uh, I've got this chap that I started painting a while ago and I haven't got any further with. He might get a little bit of attention now while I'm waiting for me to dry. Yes, I am. Yeah. What else? Oh, I've got my brass scorpion to finish. Need to do that. Yeah, yeah, you do need to do that. Yeah, get that finished eventually. Here we go. Here's Bellacore. Pete says, I'm trying to work out whether or not to cut the tile or just score it to make like a tile floor. I don't know. I don't know what that is. <laughs> hmm. I don't understand. Cut what tile? Yeah. What have I missed? I've, I don't know. Okay. Uh, da, 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 so yeah, so here's uh, here's Bellacourt. He's uh, I'm quite pleased with how he's turning out. So actually, rather than getting distracted doing anything on any other items, I'm going to uh, going to do a little bit of work on this base while I'm waiting for the thing. But it, on the whole, he's looking alright. So these chains that I've just been doing, they're going on the uh, wings here in these gaps. So I'm going to take him off and put him over there somewhere out the way. And what are you doing for well, the base? I'm going to uh, I'm going to paint these chains on the base that I haven't actually touched yet, and this uh, this star thing here, which really that one's going to be brass, I think. Should have painted it last night while I was doing my brass ball. Yes, a large till cut up to make the floor tile or paint it like a tile or just add some dynamite to it I, don't, I still don't know what yeah. you're talking about Pete thanks Moxie a large till cut up to make I the think floor he means a large tile oh sorry a large tile cut up to make the floor tile or paint it like a tile or just add some dynamite I, but a tile for what I don't, I don't know you might have to remind us, Pete, because you know we're not yeah. we're knocking on now. Maybe he means for his uh, photo booth thing. Oh right, okay, maybe yeah. So just just as a quick aside, here's my um, uh, brass ball that we painted it last night. So that's uh, that was last night's completed mini. If you uh, missed the end of our stream last night. He's uh, turned out just as I wanted, which is cool. Like that. Very happy with my little self. Uh, right. So, I'm going to paint some uh, paint some metal. And this is Greg. Greg is my Pathfinder character uh, for our Pathfinder games. He is a half orc paladin, and he's not very bright, uh, and he has a big sword. So, this is my first ever role-playing game character unfortunately generally what happens is when you've painted your mini your character dies oh thanks thanks a lot so yeah. i have so this guy will probably be attacking greg shortly because uh nathan mr nlg is the dm and he has asked me to paint this guy so it probably means that this guy is going to be going ah, chop, 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 chop. and then yeah this guy might go eh. <laughs> Both of these are Reaper miniatures. So I'm painting Reaper and you're painting... Uh, Bellacore. You're painting Warhammer, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, so we'll stop attacking Greg now with the, with the bugbear. Poor, poor Greg. He's had a hard time <laughs> as it is. He has to carry all the stuff for everybody. He's he has to keep he's, spending money and he doesn't like spending money. It's because he's the strongest member of the party. Of course he's got to carry everything. I can't remember what brown I used. What brown did we use? I don't know, darling. Oh, I can't remember. Now I know that I did the straps and things with wood grain. Because that's my favourite. 
What's the what's the rubbish brown that you like? <laughs> Russet brown. Russet brown. I ain't got that, so I can't use that. You must have it. I passed it here last night. Well, I don't know what I've done with it then. You lost my good brown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's there. Rubbish, rubbish browns there. Yours and Wicked D's favourite brown. Dad lad says, um, in the Greg's corner, weighing in at five sausage rolls and a cheese and onion pasty. That's right. I named him Greg after Greg Davis, the comedian, um, because he's tall and sarcastic. <laughs> uh, Wicked D says, ooh, uh, Oh, sorry. I can't see the screen properly. Sorry, Harry. <laughs> this is Greg. Sorry, Harry. That was is the camera halfway across the screen. This is Greg. Because last time when we were playing, uh, Harry had beautifully painted miniature for her character, and I had a lump of white plastic, so I had to pull my finger out and paint him. So there he is. We need to get little Mrs. figure painted up. Yeah, well, so you you her. need to get little I've asked her if she wants to do it and she said no. So there we go. <laughs> so you're going to do it for her? Uh, yeah, but she needs to tell me what colour she wants. What's being sold? Yeah, what, what's, what's being sold, Pete? Oh, we're not doing very well today, Pete, are we? At, at understanding what you're talking about. That is our fault and I'm very sorry. Here we go. The brown. <laughs> no, I found it. It's because I don't like it. I stuck it in the uh, the wrong place. But I need to, um, really, I need to paint them all roughly the same kind of colour. So I don't know who undercoated this nonsense. I've got to stare at that. What? Well, not finished? Who undercoated that? That's probably because I had hold of its head while I was undercoating it and then I, I was going to go back and paint the rest of it once it dried. He's even pointing at you. And going, you, you undercoated me rubbish. How very dare you. How very, very dare you. Moxie <laughs> says, would it be possible to reserve me a 50059 Reaper Sherlock Holmes? I have them in my wish list and discovered that Dr. Watson is sold out. And there's only two Sherlocks left. Ah! Mm, I'm sure we could sort that, that out. Bit. I, added, I added that bit on the end. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure we could sort that out for you, Moxie. Have we got any uh, Dr. Watsons coming? Uh, I don't think... I haven't unpacked... We got a Reaper delivery today and I haven't unpacked it all. I've just taken a couple of choice things out of it that I needed. Um, so, uh, I will be doing that in the morning. But I don't think there's any Dr. Watsons in there. However, uh, it shouldn't take me too long to be able to get some because I do need to order a couple of other bits and pieces from Reaper. I'll probably do that after the stream this evening. I don't think I use this brown because it doesn't look anything like this one. So if uh, if Dr. Watson is sold out, so long as Reaper have got some, we should have some by the end of the week. I think I must have decided I don't like your brown. You've been doing nothing but moan about my brown. Yeah, well, I think that's maybe why I didn't use it. Um, Pete says, where has all the green stuff gone? I'm sure that's a song. Mm. Uh, well, I'll try this we've, one. we've posted it out to a variety of customers around the UK and in Europe. I think he means the, the, the delivery that's wandered off. Ah, well, so it's currently sat in uh, a warehouse somewhere between Dover and Essex, I believe. And uh, hopefully will be with us without too much more delay. Have had a little communique from Green Stuff World today. Have you? I didn't mean for that to rhyme. That was inadvertent. Didn't know it did. Yeah. Go on. Uh, so, yeah, have a little communication from Green Stuff World today about our delivery. And they said that it would be possible for us to arrange our own couriers should we wish to in future that might be able to get things to us a little quicker however it would require us registering 
for some kind of customs permit in Spain and I don't know how feasible that is so I need to do a little bit of investigation because yeah. four months is a little as, bit ridiculous yeah, as as that's possible but similarly what they said was that if I wanted to go and pick it up then I could <laughs> but again you know but yeah if you're uh, if you don't want to come with me then uh, it's kind well, of pointless. I haven't got a passport have I I uh, know but we could get you one it's kind of pointless me uh, going on a little jolly to Spain on my own isn't it it wouldn't be a jolly, would it? It'd be, we went in the van, we picked some stuff up, we came back. I mean, it's not really a jolly. We could have a nice little holiday while we were there. No, you were all right. A villa for a couple of no, days. No, no, you're, you're fine. You're <laughs> absolutely fine. There's a reason I haven't got a passport. I like being at home. Home is a nice place. We need to get the we need to get the stuff that's actually currently here actually yes. to to us. Yeah, we do. So uh, yeah, it's on Friday. its it's on its way. Is is all I can say. It's Hopefully, it on its way for five soon. months. This this guy looks like he's going to try and pick your nose. Mm -hmm. How are you getting on with that base? All right. It's it's all good. about the bass. It's all about that bass. About that bass. No, we didn't. We didn't need to sing. I just, it was just a question. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going alright. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna put some of your favourite gold. Oh look. On. Uh, um, on Streamlabs has just welcomed me to the chat room again. I didn't go anywhere. Streamlabs been here the whole time. It's kind of how the stream runs. <laughs> Thought the base was finished, Pete says. Pete says he thought the base was finished. No, almost, almost. There's uh, there's a few little bits and pieces, skulls, and there's always skulls and uh, chaos stuff. Skulls and this like little pointy star-looking thing down the bottom here. It's gonna uh, gonna just need a little bit of stuff. What what colour are you using for that? I'm using your favourite gold. And what's that then? Brass. My favourite gold. Brass. Best gold ever. I kept getting a welcome to stream message earlier today. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Probably Twitch being silly again. My name is Rainbow. Is it Pete? I thought it was Pete. Maybe maybe instead of saying my name, we should, we should uh, just call him Rainbow. Hello, Rainbow. Hello, Rainbow. I changed the colour. You keep changing the colour. You changed it earlier. Didn't you? I know. I said earlier, didn't I, that you'd changed it. So we have purple Pete, red Pete and blue Pete in chat. All right. Here you see. You make your names. You can change the... You can change how your colour of your name is displayed in chat. In right. chat settings, I do believe. Uh, even though that might be, yeah, chat, chat settings, probably. I think it shows slightly different for me because I'm using the, um, the the stream. It's streaming. Oh, now it's pink now. <laughs> what what colour were you originally, Pete? I can't remember. So yeah, and then if you change if you change your colour in chat settings, it changes it across all of the streams that you watch. So you would be pink in all of them. You were originally blue, were you? Yeah, you, so you would be pink in all of them. Now you've changed it to pink, unless you change it again. We are red in all of them. Oh, it's purple now. Do you have to, you have to pay bits? No, no, no. You don't have to pay. Maybe, maybe, maybe if you did, then it, you know we wouldn't have a rainbow chat. Not pretty though. Awesome. So yeah, don't don't make me forget that after the stream we need to uh, what do a little order with Reaper. Oh, we need to order something with Reaper. Okay. Yeah, I need to. I needed to get a couple of bits and pieces anyway. Okay. I will try. I will probably forget. I was playing um, Monkey Island earlier for the first time ever. 
and Pete said, don't forget to, to save. And I said, oh, I can't save at the minute because there's a bit of talking going on. You'll have to remind me. And it was like three seconds later and I forgot again. It's a good job Pete was there. Pete and Crafty and uh, Wicked D to keep me right because I really didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> it's absolutely atrocious. Wandering around this island going, don't know what to do. Uh, Wicked D says she's going to stick with purple. Tony says... I'm wondering what the little symbols mean. The first one is fairly self-explanatory, but not sure what the steam train means. No, I don't know either. Current hype train conductor, apparently, Tony. So we, we had we we have had a hype train once, um, which is like when people. I think Tony contributed. This is what I was going to say. Oh, sorry. So when people um, subscribe and use bits and donate all in like a massive row it they call it a hype train and you started it because you subscribed and then other people followed and so that is why you have train um pete's now just putting things in just so we can see his lovely little colors so he's now green and uh, wonders what uh, there is for supper moxie is gutted that he missed monkey island gameplay it's a classic it was um a completely unplanned stream earlier today that i just thought oh let's have a go at that so there will be more but it will probably be in the daytime um because that's when i'm here all on my little lonesome and genuinely it was me just wandering around not even knowing what the controls were it was completely chat led game so everybody in chat was telling me what to do because i have got absolutely no idea never even played a computer game on a computer before so using the mouse and the buttons all well, that is new to me and i've never played the monkey island thing we got we asked in our discord what everybody thought would be a good kind of rpg adventure type game for little miss so that we she didn't have to play skyrim all the time because she was getting slightly bored of skyrim and monkey island was recommended so we had a look at it with her the other night but she, unfortunately, even though it isn't scary at all, uh, she didn't like it and got very scared and then had nightmares. So that <laughs> so she won't be playing it, but it looks like I will be. Pete, uh, Pete wants you to do a Thursday again. A Thursday? What, when you weren't here? Yeah. Do a Thursday again. <laughs> all right, Tony. Take care. See you later. Thanks for coming. Because we've run over again, like always. Um, Hamish isn't streaming tonight, so we didn't have to stick to quite a uh, a schedule. We normally, for, for those of you that might not know, maybe Dad and Lad might still be here, I'm not sure. We normally raid Goblin Squire on a Tuesday. But he's not streaming tonight, so we don't have to stick to the schedule of one hour. Because uh, we always stick to one hour, don't we? Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely. Uh, absolutely, not at all, never. <laughs> but yes, I'm very much looking forward to uh, being able to crack on with my Reaper Challenge League minis for July, when it actually gets to July, and the Therival and Friends mini. That yeah, should be might, quite cool. I might have to start getting some stuff undercoated ready. Yeah, we have got a couple of days that we won't be streaming in july because it's school holidays etc but we will let you know when that will be and there's only maybe three <laughs> so you know won't miss out on us too much no right get that bit roughly done while we've uh... what other what other warhammer things are you on with then over there what, what other lovely things can you show us uh, to show us anything from the Dominion box or anything from anywhere? Um, yeah, hydrating yourself. You didn't have to be told. I know. Uh, mm, um, what am I on with? We've got this scenery that we're, uh, we're painting. Right, o can you over show here. Them scenery? It was extremely, we did extremely quick scenery for the gaming tables and we did a little tiny i think it's only two minutes long youtube video showing you how we did it very 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 quickly oh i saw Moxie that. cheered 
Here's all the cheers I have left. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of cheers. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Roxy. That's extremely kind of you. I think we should join in though. Are you ready for a big cheers? Everybody going to join in. We're going to cheer after three. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Whee! <laughs> Is that as long as that cheer? I'm not sure. I hope you all joined in at home. I can hear you, you know. That'd be a bit creepy if we really could, wouldn't it? I've just noticed that. Oh. Then on the ones that we. They're not the ones that we painted. Ah. So we painted a whole load of this um, Azerite Ruins scenery, Warhammer, Age of Sigma Azerite Ruins yesterday. Excuse me, oh. there's just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> More cheering, are you ready? Is yeah. everybody going to join in this time? We're counting on you. One, two, three. Woo! Sounded like a wolf. <laughs> you did sound like a wolf. So, yeah, just, like just a some witch. basic like ruin wall sections, Azerite ruin scape uh, that we're going to use for a variety of terrain at the shop. And uh, I also made a stance on this, which I need to uh, paint the woodwork on. So this is this this big old beast here. This is the. Rent in fact, it's uh, so big it's not going to fit in the camera view. But this this monster here is the Renedra Tower, which is a sectional building. There we go. See it from the thing. So it comes comes apart into different floors, so you can build it up, have it higher or lower, as you as you wish. There we go. One floor, two floors. Uh, grab there, pull that out of there, there we go, inside, top floor, battlements, goes together, so that's going to be uh, installed in the gaming floor shortly, I just need to paint the trap door in the top there, and uh, these double doors here on the side, if you can just see those. Just get those finished and then I can get it taken to the shop and done. Here we have a whole host of scenery that you can use on the gaming floor to suit your needs when playing games on the tables. Don't we? But Shakira had wandered in. Yes, it's the song. It's part of the song where she howls. Ah, right. I yeah, understand. yeah, I remember. Yeah. Good, good. I knew I was waiting for you to notice that and go, what? Um, I thought you meant the uh, the other one where she talks about her uh, appendages being small and humble so you don't confuse them with mountains. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then I was like. <laughs> well, that's just, that's just what you had in your brain, yeah. not actually, you know. I know. <laughs> uh, Crazy Fish says, have you used any of the Playmobil castles for terrain? No. Uh, I haven't, or we haven't, but I have seen some pretty cool stuff made out of the Playmobil terrain uh, for Frostgrave and Oathmark and some of these other sort of generic games along with uh, someone, I see someone had used like the thing, the gladiatorial fighting pit uh, Playmobil kit, but since uh, I originally saw that on a, a Facebook group. It seems like a lot of other people have decided to buy them, and now the the price of them, although they, they should have been about twenty pounds or something, I think, but people are now selling them for several hundred because they've obviously uh, found other uses for them. Yeah, that's it. The Roman Arena, and um, yeah, there's some other bits and pieces. I guess if you if you found them at like a car boot sale or something and you got them for a really good price then it would be ideal but to buy them new to do it is uh, currently not cost effective i don't think i think the last time i i looked on google for the roman arena one to get the uh, the full play set that makes the the large ring I think there's a smaller set that just has like a gateway and then there's the full ring thing. 
um, someone wanted 200 and something pound for it. Yeah. Well, I suppose once it people realise then it goes up, doesn't it? Mm. When you can have a beautiful Renedra Tower instead. Yeah, and, the, and that Renedra Tower is, I think, about 30 quid. So Which is, like, pretty decent. Crazy Fish says £15 for the arena and £10 for the castle. Where Did you find those on eBay or somewhere, Crazy Fish? So, Pete, Pete is our local hydrator, and Pete constantly keeps us hydrated throughout all the streams that he watches. And currently, Pete set himself up with a tw Twitter account uh, called Pete the Hydrator, uh, where he is keeping everybody hydrated throughout the day. If you would all like to check out Pete's Twitter, this is the link um, it's only I'm only letting you put your link in because we like Pete and he keeps us hydrated throughout our streams so there you go Pete that's your link number one hydrator that's right <laughs> Yeah, I know. Uh, I know on Amazon that prices go. Amazon. Yeah. Amazon. Nobody wants to be talking about them. Well, I was just gonna, in, in relation to the uh, the Playmobil, that prices go up and down depending on, because people use uh, repricing software that fluctuates the pricing depending on like demand and what have you. Well, they got it off Facebook. I know. I didn't know that, did I? I was talking about the price that I've seen for the thing, but. Is that I didn't realise that there was a Playmobil buy and sell group. There's everything. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe we need to check that out as a source of terrain. I think you've got terrain. enough terrain that's not painted that we don't need to be sourcing kids' toys to make more. Yeah. <laughs> I'll check it out later. Yeah. <laughs> what are you like? Got boxes and boxes and boxes of terrain. Got a bubble in my main model. A bubble? Yeah, it's weird. It was formed between parts of the uh, hook. Yeah. So this is a Null Oil Agrax Earthshade mix that I use for dirty metal and skulls. Or bone in general. What, um, why did you mix them? Because I found that Null Oil is too black and Agrax Earthshade is too brown. So uh, I decided that I was going to mix them together to get a little bit of a midway between the two. And here we are. Got a nice delicious mixture. But I have a question for you. Oh, yeah. It's quarter past eight. What is your plan for the stream? Uh, so, my plan is uh, we'll carry on till half past. Okay. And then uh, we'll continue tomorrow. So, I'm going to give these things that I've put the wash on a little bit extra time to dry. Okay. And then we'll get this uh, get this reaper order done. So well, you're gonna have to f fill in the next fifteen minutes with wonderful conversation and mm. all the things that you've got to tell us. Okay. Do you know? It's, do you know? It was just about to say to me then. You always ask me to tell you stuff, and I've got nothing to tell you. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah. Could hear it formulating in your brain. We um we finished watching that Jupiter thing. Oh yeah, Jupiter Rising, wasn't it? Jupiter, Jup was Legacy it? of Jupiter, or whatever it's called. I'm gonna put I'm, I'm gonna put this wash all over the base. And, Are you uh, sure? Yeah, yeah, I am sure. Yeah, I'm gonna put this wash all over the base, and I'm gonna re-highlight it because I don't like the way it's it's too light. Uh, well, I've got it out. Yeah, so. 
whatever it's called, Jupiter Ascending or something like that. Yeah, we don't even know, know what it's called. What's what? What channel is it on? Is it Netflix? Netflix. Yeah. Watch that on Netflix. Finish finish that last night. Massively disappointed by the fact that <laughs> not not with the series in general, but the, like these series, they're so short, aren't they? They thing it like eight episodes or whatever, and it's done. And, yeah. and what was the other thing that we watched? It was like six, six episodes. I don't know. Yeah, and then it and then it just finishes. What happened to like doing a run of ten or twenty episodes in a series? Twenty four episodes in a series. I finished watching Lucifer. Oh yeah, Mrs. MLG has finished watching Lucifer. But and, but thankfully, uh, yeah. but thankfully, um, some deadly sins you said has got a new season. Yes, yeah, they uploaded that to Netflix yesterday. So, season five, Seven Deadly Sins. So I will actually be able to watch something when you're not here. Yay! Yeah, as long as you don't binge the whole series in one night. Well, no, I won't be because apparently I've got to stream now on a Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> keeping it up keeping up the good work but yeah I do find it um, we find it difficult don't we you're like all the way over there all we can see is your null noise um, because we like watching certain things together but then we stream most nights and then when we're not streaming you are working late at the shop for late night gaming on Thursdays and Fridays and obviously I can't watch the programmes that we watch together on my own because that would be mean. So we have to like try and fit them in, don't we? Yeah. But uh, is it The Watcher? Is it The Watcher that's... The coming? Witcher. The Witcher. Oh, see, I don't even know what we watch. That's... Yeah, yeah, well, I guess we need to we need to re-watch that. The, yes, we do. We do need the next to re-watch series. that. Because... I'll be honest, I've never played any of the computer games and I didn't get it. So, yeah, okay, some of the episodes, it's a bit of a fantasy romp type thing. Not romp as in, like... Family friend. Um... Yeah, fun times, but romp as in, like... Yeah, anyway. So... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, it's just a bit of a fantasy programme, but I didn't like the way that it jumped all over the timeline and... Geralt looked the same. I think I moaned about this the other day, didn't I? Yeah, I didn't know it was going to start a moan. I, I was uh, just saying, oh, that's coming soon. I just I just wish that they'd put a bit of text up on the screen that said, 20 years earlier. Maybe, yeah. maybe a little subtitle, Geralt still looks the same. <laughs> oh, you're lying. Still got the same costume on. Uh. You are funny, my dear. Yes, I think if we watched it again before the new one started, then we might we might stand a better chance. Yeah. Pete's redeemed hydrate. Moxie says, I want to have a go at a diorama. That'd be cool. And I want to have a go at a Sherlock Holmes one. Do you do any terrain that's the Victorian Edwardian era? We have. Um, we have yeah always thinking now bookcases which may be suitable uh, in the terrain crate range they do some nice bookcases and stuff if you were thinking about doing like an indoor type scenario uh, there is in the Mantic Terrain Crate range, there are a variety of sets that are based around kind of like a gothic manor uh, interior and exterior things. So there's like gardens and with little statues and um, hedges and fountains and all that kind of stuff with a creepy tree and some other bits and pieces that you could use to make an outdoor Hound of the Baskerville style setting uh, or indoor wise they've got like servants quarters with old style so we need to be searching for a terrain furniture. crate then yeah if you have a look through the Mantic terrain crate section boxy uh, not all of it is fantasy stuff you'll find some kind of modern uh, Victorian era type stuff 
and uh, building wise if you wanted like whole buildings depending on how, you, how big you wanted to make your diorama um tt combat make some excellent mdf buildings in their old town range and we can get any of those uh, in we cut stock a few like there's um a horse and carriage well not a horse but a carriage and a couple of other bits and pieces that will probably be perfect oh and in the sarissa range as well maybe check out some of the sarissa buildings and things we've got there's some nice like gypsy caravans and stuff like that in there that would be suit period suitable should we say yeah i suppose it really depends on what exactly you've got in your in your mind maybe if you maybe if you said to him if you see him or whatever what kind of scene you're trying to set it might be easier for us yeah. to pinpoint what you're looking for can i have a little sit brown yeah. yeah of course you can you can have that poopy brown back <laughs> i've painted this guy with the poopy brown and now he looks like he's rolled around in a bit of poop delightful moxie says, says which of three is one of the best games he's ever played he thinks that we would like it. Well, when I went the other day to see about possibly getting a new style game for us to play uh, instead of Skyrim before we tried out Monkey Island, and I was thinking about one of the Witcher games, but I couldn't find it anywhere. And you only go to one shop. I did, yeah. <laughs> but uh, well, there, ain't many, there ain't much choice in Bryn, is there? Really. But. Yeah, haven't haven't started looking online, and we only have a uh, an old Xbox. Yeah. To play on, so we're not not up to date with some of the new fandangled consoles and uh, what have you methods of play. What's going on there? I don't know what you're doing. I was just. Giving what what have you got now? What's that? I, well, I'm waiting for my paint to dry, so I was just doing a little bit on this wizard. Oh, you weren't going to tell us? Well, just guess the figure. Yeah, we were talking, guess so I figure, just didn't mention figure. it. I don't like this brown. This is, I mentioned uh, before I don't like this brown. I don't think I have, have I? I don't think I've mentioned it. It's called Karlov, this guy. It's called what? Karlov. I think it's called Karlov Dietrich. Or something like that. He's the wizard. Alright. And what's he for? I think he would make a nice elementalist wizard for Frostgrave. Oh, Frostgrave? Yeah. So you've been playing some... some. You've been playing some Frostgrave, yeah, with uh, one of the guys at the shop, one of my friends, one of my long-standing friends. And uh, unfortunately for him, we've been playtesting the rules, so we've played, uh, rather than like letting him escape off the battlefield or whatever, I've been crushing him mercilessly <laughs> so uh, we've played two games so far and uh, murderized him both times i bet he's really enjoying it yeah well, well to, to be, be fair, fair actually the same murdered him so the first game that we played uh, was a, a hollow victory for me so i got down to having one model left on the table and uh, managed to escape with the loot and then the game that we played last Thursday, we uh, we played it through and I wiped his warband out completely. I see. So, yeah. So it was good. Enjoyed it. <laughs> so Moxie says, Hound of the Baskervilles kind setting. I was thinking of or any outdoor setting as the mini looks like he is in investigating mode oh yeah so the uh, you had it the other day a couple of sets didn't you so there's the for me yeah you know, uh, so there was uh, a cemetery set i can't remember what it's called oh, what the sarissa stuff no the uh, terrain crate all oh, right um so there's a, a cemetery set that comes with some fences railings and uh, other, a couple of little, a little crypt type building and uh, other little accessories and then i think there is 
like a, a gloomy garden or something like that it's called that would also be uh, potentially suitable for your moxie a gloomy garden i can't remember doing that one yeah. Gloomy. Might, might not be called gloomy I garden. I can't remember gloomy garden. But again, you know, that doesn't, it doesn't really mean out, does it? This is uh, this is me, after all. And there were terrain crates for this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for some reason, the Games Workshop logo isn't working on my website. Yeah. I want you lot to be messing at to that, make that not... Pete, Pete the priest, Pete the priest, Pete the priest is redeemed saying my name. Pete, Pete the priest. Pete the priest, Pete, 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 Pete. Pete the hydrator. Gothic grounds with the trees. Yeah, yeah that's it. Gothic. And graveyard terrain crate. I'll put you a link in, um, Moxie. There you go. I got rough. robbed, I pressed hydrate. All right, well, hydrate too. Yeah, look. Woo. I've run out. I have to. Uh, it's right, double I've hydrated for you. I've brought more. I just need to finish painting this glove and oh, I'll. Wicked D's at it now. Ah. Yeah, I got stuck then getting the glass. What, ha what happened to the oh, cool down period? Oh. Oh, don't be back now. Well, Pete didn't press it, did he? Press say my uh, name instead. Say my name, say my name. Yeah. You've hurt your back, what are you doing? I've reached my glass of water. <laughs> oh, I'm knocking on a bit now. <laughs> it's because yeah. it's over there and I had to get around the wire. Yeah, you're doing your thing. No. Do I? Nobody wants that. Yeah, we do. No. Go on. This guy's going, over there, your water is over there. I don't like this brown colour you have painted me, human. Yeah, this looks, they look great, though. That one does. This one looks good. I can't remember oh. what colour I painted him, though. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. He's going, ho, ho, ho. Look at the ridiculous brown colour you are. Oh, yes. Well, that's all very good, isn't it? But this one here painted me a ridiculous brown colour. That's what's happening um, there. You have got a drink. I've just heard you. I know. I, that's, that's what I said. I've got, got some more. more. I just need He's to He's going to be drunk. I am not going to be drunk. Have you seen the size of these bottles? <laughs> um, I was. I, I was think robbed. it's the weekend. And I, I was robbed earlier on because uh, I went to a supermarket in town where you can have a meal deal, right? Now, the, and the meal deal is you get a side and a main and a dessert and a drink, which is like so. For example, lasagna and roast potatoes. I love the way you're not giving the example of what you actually purchased. I, I did buy a lasagna. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, so lasagna. I apologise. <laughs> lasagna, roast potatoes, profiteroles, which is what I'm having pudding, and then for the drink you can have a bottle of wine, which is what I normally buy, but today I fancied something a little bit different. So I bought a four pack of Peroni beer, and it was in the nice little cardboard thing. So when I got it home, I took them out, put them in the fridge, they are tiny. <laughs> this is like 250 milliliter bottles of Peroni. This is, I wish I'd got the bottle of wine because it would have got like more value for my uh, thing. I just thought, oh, it'd be nice. I'll have some Peroni. That'd be quite tasty. Other well, beers are available. Um, yeah, not sponsored yeah. by Peroni. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, massively disappointed. You need two of these to fill a pint glass up. It's crazy. Oh, I don't know. No, shocking. Here's me with my pint of water. Yeah. And, and then, just, just to, to, to top, top it all off, just to, like, so I got back in the car, got to the, I've been in the supermarket, got back in the car, sat in the car, and then remembered that our oven broke on Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, so the food that I've just purchased, I can't actually cook because I haven't put the new element in the oven yet. In fact, I haven't even ordered the new element for the oven yet. Mm -hmm. So and none of the food that I've purchased is grillable. So the grill still works, but the oven is knackered. So uh, we had pizza from the pizza shop instead. <laughs> and, to, and to be fair, <laughs> by the time you'd have got home, we wouldn't have had time to cook it before seven anyway. Ah, 
<laughs> well, I'd have been home 20 minutes faster if I hadn't got the takeaway. <sighs> no, I know. don't know. The, the yeah, life of the first, NLG family. Yeah, first world problems, I think that's what, I like, think that what, is, what, they, yeah. what they call it. Definitely. Yeah. Guess what? What? It's half past. It's half past. Right then, we'll uh, we'll call it a night for now. Because <laughs> have we like, witted on to everybody I, yeah, enough? I think, yeah, I think we have. Right. So this is uh, Karlov Dietrich. Um, so I'm going to paint his hood. Seeing as he's going to be an elementalist, I think I'm going to paint his hood uh, yellow. Yellow. I know. Yeah. What? Wild. Yellow. Absolutely wild. Ooh, you don't use yellow very often. No. I know. Craziness. So yeah, I think I'm going to go yellow. He's going to have red trousers and shirt. He's got this kind of dark greeny colour. Wow, he's like rainbow uh, guy. Cloak, and then he's going to have a yellow hood. That's so, a, that's so, a lot of colours. I know, I know. But I want him to look bright because he's going to be a uh, he's going to be an elemental wizard. Well, that's fine, darling. Is yours if you want him to let's, be rainbow uh, let, guy? Let's give it a whirl. Um, right. Yeah, we're going to leave you. Sorry, Wicked D. We're going to uh, we're going to leave you. And uh, might go and put our feet up and uh, watch The Witcher. Oh, is that okay? <laughs> well, unless you wanted to watch something else. No, I just I, I never know what is going on in your brain. No. Okay. So, are you going to show us what your belly core ended up looking like? Now? Uh, he hasn't actually changed at all because I've been painting these bits of chain here. An hour and a half you've been painting for. I, I know, I know. It's time consuming. So doing what, like um, preparation and stuff. What have you done then? I've painted these chains. Oh yes, oh yes. Wait, wait, wait. Hang so, on. But hold them still, and I will. There we go. So I've I've actually that painted. Good, though. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I've painted like ten bits of chain. Are they all done? Do they need hanging on the wings? Yeah, they, I need to glue them on now. So how do you uh, how do you glue them on? So there, look, I've paint, painted this bit, so he's got like a little crown on. Look. Oh, got a yeah. golden crown on and then there's like another bit of golden crown hanging off that one. Oh, that's nice. So yeah. Nice golden crown on the dead guy there. Yeah. Uh, so, so how do they go on? So I'm going to very carefully super glue these on to the wings. Oh, they just literally just glue on? Yeah, yeah. So in, in the wings there are these uh, little mounting points here, right there. That you might be able to see. Yeah, I'll get there. Um, Don't forget you've got a delay. Yep. Uh, there and here. Mm-hmm. Like that. So they these pieces go into uh, those gaps there. So if I can find where that where does that one go? Don't know. It's just a massive. Oh, it, it goes it goes there and there. Yeah, so do you still like this miniature, the best miniature ever in the entire world yeah. ever? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Awesome. So that'll go there and there. So as I said before, I would ab have absolutely no chance of painting these bits in situ to any kind of standard. So it's going to go like that. Well, you can see that. Oh yes, very good. Very good. That's how you're happy with the. Well, it is. So it's going really good. So I'm going to glue those on. And then tomorrow night, we'll just finish off uh, a couple of little, little bits and pieces and then it'll be done by, oh. the, by the end of the stream tomorrow night. Right, so we're going to say goodbye to everybody. Cool, yeah. Thank you for joining us. We really do appreciate it. Thank you for all the cheers and uh, yeah. support and subscription and followers and everything else. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so everybody. much. And we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, at uh, we'll hopefully see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock yep. where Mr. will be painting you painting the same? More Bellacore yeah. More Bellacore and you won't have me annoying uh, the screen so you'll have a full screen of Mr. No, painting instead you. and I'll just be yaggering on in the background <laughs> Take care everybody Thank you very much Bye We, we will We will Moxie Once I've, uh, we've got the rules down pat I'll uh, get you get you shown Thanks, everyone. <laughs> See you soon.